Happy Womb Day. I'm Saliba Ndidi, Director for Divine Wombs for Life. Today's topic is going to be on the importance of pelvic movement. But before we get started, I want to say happy full moon and I hope that you are creating some wonderful full moon rituals for this evening. So I wish you all the best with that. Pelvic movement. Ah. As you know, we are all energy beings. You know, every one of us is made up of energy. And energy travels by frequency, you know, like on vibrations. Like when you tune it into the radio, you got to find that right station, which is the right frequency to hear it clearly. So pretty much that's how we are as human beings, you know, we you know, we hang. We tend to hang around people who are on that same frequency that we're on. Um, we search out, we seek out that station of that person or people. But knowing that we are energy beings and that energy is a constant flow, energy is constantly moving in and out, and you know, just breathing the breath of air. That's chi energy, um, and it also goes throughout the human body, and it um, you know connects with every organ in the body. But you know, as women, we hold all that energy in our womb, in our core, in our center, which is our second chakra area. And sometimes, you know, stagnation can, you know, rest in that area, um, especially if we have a lot of um, emotions that we don't get the opportunity to express. You know, as women, we're moody. As human beings, we're moody, you know, just like this, the moon phases change every day and, and every month, so do we. We're all cycle of beings, we all have moods, we all have emotions, and we all have to express our emotions, you know, because when we hold in our emotions, we're suppressing the flow of energy. Stagnation can settle in and being in our reproductive area when stagnation takes place in that area you know we're more prone to having cysts on our ovaries um, fibroids in the uterus or on the outside of the uterus or any other you know female reproductive um, disorders can take place when we have stagnation in the womb area so it's very important that we understand that movement is the key. We have to keep moving. Just like the planets in our solar system, they're constantly moving. They don't stop. They, they, they move in the motion with all the other planets in our solar system, but they also spin on their own axis, right? Like the Earth, she spins on her axis, but she's also circling around the sun takes 365 days for her to do that but she's moving and she's also moving within her own being with her own self and that's how we are you know as above so below we are a replica of the universe so we spin or we vibrate at our own you know frequency but we're also vibrating and moving with everything else that's in the universe or I should say in our solar system you know, everything around us is moving at its own speed, doing its own thing, but we're all moving in the same direction at the same time. So we're all interconnected. So that's just the flow of energy and that's how it works. But to better understand that in our reproductive area, we need to keep the movement flowing. <laughs> energy has to continue to flow so that, you know, we feel you know, very comfortable to where we can express ourselves. So enjoy these few movements that I decided to, you know, share with you. So, <clears throat> if you place your thumbs together and your forefingers and place it on your navel and just let it rest right where your pinkies are, that's where your ovaries are. So we're just going to massage our ovaries and give them a lot of love. Or you can take your hands sideways and place them here and just go back and forth real fast until you feel some heat in that area. 
happening. Place your hands over it. You can do that just to stimulate and get the energy going in your ovaries. It's the ovaries is where all our creativity resides. And we want to get that energy flowing. We want to keep everything moving so that we don't develop cysts that, you know, hang on to our ovaries because the cysts are a normal thing that happens in the process of our cysts, of the ovaries coming out into the fallopian tube, it pulls the sac with it. So it sometimes brings the cysts with it and it dissolves as the ovary goes into the fallopian tube. And sometimes the cyst continues to hang on after the ovary is into the fallopian tubes and sometimes it can cause pain. So we don't want that. We want to keep everything moving, flowing. So simple basic stuff. I know many of you may have taken West African dance, West African dance before, or ballet, or belly dancing. Any type of dancing is all a part of your hip movement. Moving your hip side to side, and you know you can give yourself some rhythm, some music if you want, but. It's, you know, however you want to do it, just as long as you get that movement in on a daily basis. And then you can circular motions. Reverse. So it's just getting that hip moving, getting the hip moving back and forth. So another good thing is to squat. Very important. Placing your step into squatting and sometimes you can hold your squat as long as you can you know as long as you want to but it gets you to balance out your squat so take it all the way down as far as you can go so by doing this position it's definitely going to help increase your bowel movements just keep things flowing you can rock side to side if you want and then let's take it down to the floor so take it down and put your knees to your chest and just stimulating, stimulating your spine, getting that energy to flow on up your spine, get it moving. And so pull it here and to open up this pelvic, you know, to get the energy moving, we're just going to take our leg, right leg up and we're going to go out with it. So we're going to make circulars. Out, out, out. You can do that about nine times. That'll help open up the energy in your pelvic area. And then we're going to go in and push it in, in, in. You can do that about nine times on both sides. So on this side, we're going to go out. So you push it out. Yeah, you can feel your bone moving and opening up all in this area. So do nine circles out. And then we're going to go in. Push it in. Nine circles in. Get the rotation moving. Keep it moving. Do that about nine times. And then when you're done, you can do push-ups with your hips. You just push your hips up. Just let them stay as long as you, you know, want to hold them there. Breathe. And then down. And then you can also have a rhythm with it. You can go up and down. Up and down. Up, down. So the point is to get the energy flowing in this area, all in this area. Then you can rock back and forth, take it back and forth, twist it around and around. Just get it moving, move that energy. And then also, we can take circulars, put your knees together, and make circles all around together. It will help strengthen your whole abdomen area as well and then you can reverse it and it helps your lower back this really helps the lower back so all right 
so it's just that simple you know simple little exercises to get the energy moving here and tapping into your reproductive area and making sure that the energy is flowing as it should so thank you for watching my video and please try these simple little um, exercises to help get your energy moving so that no stagnation can take place within your body so please subscribe to my channel and also click like if you like and visit my website divinewombsforlife.com to uh, sign up for a free copy of my ebook womb sense balancing the womb thank you and i'll see you in two weeks